Good morning, it feels like Easter. We are very much on an egg hunt because today is the start of Koenigsegg's Ghost Squadron Rally. Now the views out here, which you will see as we head up the hill, are over the stunning Lake Garda here in Italy. I'm actually here heading to Mille Emilia to take part in my SLS AMG Black Series, but knowing what was happening today, we have ventured away from Brescia to come up in this direction to catch what must be around 20 or 30 Koenigseggs that are taking part in today's event. In fact, Christian and his wife Haldora will be here driving in the CC850. There are going to be Yescos aplenty, including a lot of previously unseen specifications. And things like this don't happen all that often, so a perfect excuse to get out, come and drive some stunning roads, to enjoy the SLS Black Series, and to come and check out the Koenigseggs in all their anger. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Lake Garda in Italy and an egg hunt. Well, it's gonna be said, the hills are alive with the sound of AMG V8. Now, we started today to get here incredibly early. I mean, I had about four hours sleep last night, but when you know what's gonna be ahead of you, it is well, well, well worth it, as I try not to terrify the cyclist. Right here, squeeze on past, tiny little Italian roads heading up the hill with a massive car. Doesn't exactly help, but I tell you what, the sound of this thing, Letting that 6.2 litre V8 thunder away. Not a whole lot in common between this and the Koenigseggs, other than having eight cylinder V engines. That's about as far as we're gonna get, but this thing has been an amazing tourer for a journey like this. Those downshifts we've driven down via Germany all the way here to be in Italy. Oh, this is paradise right now. We're not even yet with the Koenigseggs. Imagine what's coming up when we get up to the hotel here. We'll go in, take a look at all of the cars, check out the lineup, maybe even catch up with Tommy from Super Ventura, Marcus from Essa, the whole team that are gonna be here from Koenigsegg. And yeah, good times. I cannot complain right now. We're at the hotel. Look at that view that's just opened in front of us. After coming up the hill, we are now on a tight, twisty, driveway road my goodness out in front that is breathtaking wow Whoa. and um yeah we're heading through to go find some eggs there should be a lot of them around i've come and checked out the koenigsegg rallies and convoys and things on many occasions in the past but this is going to be a little bit different this is gonna be really something. Oh my days. Look at this. Welcome to the garage. Welcome <laughs> to Koenigsegg Paradise. We need to go for a quick run around of the cars here and then we'll go into more detail. I mean, we kick off with the green and orange Yesco Absolute. The Absolute, the top speed spec version. Look at that spec. This particular Regira actually has a quite cool and interesting story behind it. Maybe we'll come back to that in a moment. We've got eggs new and old as we head through the garage. The earlier cars, the CC series cars, the Yesco Attack in KNC, Koenigsegg Naked Carbon from Carage. That car was at Supercar Owners Circle. We've got the Regeras, look at that. The prototype Regera is the world's fastest camera car. Look at the way that's rigged up over the roof of it. Look at this. That's the only way you can shoot cars that can go this fast, hey? Oh, nice to see this one again, the Candy Apple Red Agira. It's been a few years since I saw that car. It's always been one of my favorites. That pink color is stunning. This is Semco's one of one. I've actually been lucky to drive this car on the German Autobahn, which is quite amazing. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. This one was at Supercar Owners Circle as well. We've got the gold Yesco. Can you believe the color and look of that? What? A specification that is insane as i said cc series cars with the agiras with so much more around here as well that i don't really know where to go let's try and squeeze through this way and we'll come past green goblin here again another one actually from the uk I've seen that in england before this is a brand new car with bingo sports it's been seen here for the first time plenty of cars actually making their debut here this is heading out to japan the spec in the purple with the gold 
painted livery details is amazing. That's the CC850, the throwback to the earlier CC8S, but for the 50th birthday of Christian, who I think I've just walked past as well. Then we've got the one-to-one. -one. One of the one-to-ones, there are only six plus the prototype, a pink accent car that I've actually ridden in with Marcus from Essa in the past. We've got a CC Expedition. This just goes on and on. More Regeras, roofs being taken off. We've got a Yesco Absolute here as well. Oh, that's a nice dark red beautiful more knc this is the car actually you might remember seeing under the snow at uh, the ice in st moritz earlier in the year the knc yesco absolute i love that car Gira. i can't even remember all of them the ones that i've seen before filmed before ridden in before maybe even driven before from the cars that are here right now i think this is 30 cars which considering this year is the 30th anniversary of koenigsegg is quite something another <laughs> Yes, go attack roof off. That's an interesting story as well, by the way. That car is actually powered by a Koenigsegg engine. This is the LeBlanc. It has a Koenigsegg motor in it. Another familiar Yesco attack. This has been all over London. Many people have seen that car. We've got another CCXR here. I think I might have been in that before. Oh, this is nice. This Agira R. I remember this one as well. And a couple of other cars along with it. We've got the GT Black Series, Pura Sangue 765 LT. This is a room unlike any other. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely and totally mind-blowing incredible to tour around here to see all of this. I don't even know where to start, where to look. I'm just completely in awe and a bit shell-shocked. And very shortly, these are all going to be starting up and heading out, getting ready for today's drive. I said I would come back to this, the LeBlanc, because back in 2004, effectively, this was built by a Swiss customer using the powertrain from a then Koenigsegg to make something which, to me, is quite reminiscent of the Ferrari 333 SP. It's that type of car, but powered by a Koenigsegg. So in a way, that is half an egg, you could say literally, powered by a Koenigsegg, one on the end of the wing, and it's here to drive and be part of this. There's enough room in there just for two, very cozy cabin, but that's quite unusual. Literally, that is a one-of-one -one type project, right? That's been built using the kind of engines that were in, well, some of the earlier cars, the CC series cars from back at the time. Now, one of the things I need to talk about, ECR, exclusive car registry, that's where I love looking up all of these things to know which cars I've seen at which events before and to know the specs and to know all of the details and to know some of the stories behind them. Because in a place like this, you have so many, and as you can tell, everybody's just coming back from the driver's briefing. There are so many cars, it's gonna get very loud in here in a moment. And I said I wanted to talk about the one up here. And this particular car, in fact, now has a new look to it, but this is the car that was in the Hurricane in Florida. So this is the car that actually was kind of underwater. The factory bought it back. The factory literally bought this car back and then have completely redone it, given it a new look. So that's kind of cool. And just, just knowing about all of these, because there's so much in here. It's so hard to take it all in. That was the sound of the Maya, I think, the Yesco here getting started. It's gonna get wild in here in a moment. I have no idea how this is not gonna unfold, but we're gonna try and make it work. There are engines running aplenty in here. Listen to this, the sound of Koenigsegg V8s. All the cars gearing up, everything getting ready. <laughs> this is so insane. This is so, so cool. When does this happen? When does this happen? Then, look who I found, hey. Tommy. How you doing? <laughs> Good, thanks, Tim. Yeah. You ready for this? Uh, can you ever be really ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be driving? Yeah, we're here at Old Faithful. She's gorgeous, love this one. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be This great. is mad. This is absolutely <laughs> mad. Biggest collection I think ever outside the factory. Only just bigger than what you pulled off. Only just. Because it's no bigger and harder at some point. You, you did that mega gathering <laughs> at the uh, Super Futura Village. We're mucking. Hey, guys! Hey! <laughs> We're all here. Excited faces, ready. It's the best place to be. Yeah, it is. Have Enjoy. You've got to get the engine started. <laughs> Christian, I have to ask, how does it feel to have all of the cars here like this? It's unbelievable. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary this year, and amazingly, we have 30 Koenigseggs here. It's unbelievable. The coincidence is uncanny, and the rumbling in here, the sound. It's wild. This it's is going to be wild. one of... You always do these amazing rallies, events, and drives, but this is going to be absolutely... 
here in Italy, it's the best place to be. And the, the weather is supposed to rain and so on, but right now the sun is shining, so let's hope for, let's hope for good weather. But well, we'll see. That's the one thing we cannot do anything about. Right? <laughs> well, I wish you all the best for it. Have an amazing drive. Thank you. <laughs> the rollout begins. The cars are off. The first car is heading out from this side. Look at KNC and the sunshine on the absolute. This is, quite frankly, absurd. <laughs> <laughs> the one-to-one, -one, Regera. These cars together, we are talking tens of millions of Koenigseggs. 30 of the cars. I mean, arguably, is this $150 million worth of Koenigseggs on the road? Something like this together. This, I believe, is another new one. Again, the exposed carbon with the gold detailing. Love that. Seb at the wheel, Christian and Haldora's son. Final camera settings to make sure this is ready for the drive. That's really fun to use the factory development vehicle like that for shooting what's ahead. GT Black Series, future Koenigsegg and previous Koenigsegg customer as it happens, CC850. This is really cool, obviously with the manual gearbox setup, the light speed transmission but with a manual, so you can drive it in auto or manual as you prefer. That color in the sunshine is beautiful. That is absolutely lovely. What a color. And then this car, reunited again for me with this one. Famous car. Lovely memories. One of the first Koenigseggs I ever drove, in fact. Right, engine is running. It's time for us to make a move. This is all literally go, go, go. Whew. <laughs> the drama and the excitement right now. Oh my goodness. So we've gone with some of the other non-X, so we're not the only person splitting up the group. I hate to be that guy wherever possible. But the view in front, a gear R, yes go attack, CC850 around the corner. This is absolutely insane. This is genuinely insane. I think the CC850 is waiting to go a little bit later, but we're gonna head back down the way we came up, but in the most legendary of epic convoys. I, I can't get my head around how today has unfolded because this wasn't entirely planned. I'm losing my voice from tiredness, it's all going wrong. I like that trailer that Semco have with the Esco on the side. This line of cars in front of us and that view to the side, that is what you can call not normal. In fact, as we come to the hairpin here, can we see some of the cars down the hill of us? Yes, I love that. That's so cool to see that view. Oh, ho, ho. look out to the right. Look at the cars down there. Look at the cars on the next, the next stretch of the road. <laughs> this is absolutely phenomenal. A few hairpins down. starting to get a little bit more alive. I think the tour operators for today are basically just making sure everybody gets down this sketchy bit where it's super narrow, corners like this, without issue. And then the fun is gonna unfold. Look at this out to the right. Look at that across the lake. This is absolute chaos. Um, this is why having a, uh, a great tour guide and tour group helps, but um, yeah. We are definitely blocking up a lock of the road around here. And the sound of this is so nice. Very, very, very nice. I love this in Italy. Roads closed for the purpose. We can bob around, squeeze through. Unsurprisingly, as we get to a town, all of the cameras come out and people are kind of like, what the heck? Because this has never been seen before. Never ever have there been 30 Koenigseggs driving on the road together. That's just not a thing. Like, I think people are a bit kind of like, what the f is that? And you can't blame them. I think even the older people here, everyone just stops in their tracks. Everyone, like every single person sees the cars. And then they're kind of like, <laughs> Just what's going on in a way like look every single person just looks at every single car <laughs> Just jaws drop 
<laughs> even all the people sitting at the cafes. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of it you can see as we go past, but... Oh, what a place. Look at this, the scenery as well. I'm gonna pull off here for a moment because I wanna watch some of the cars going past. Because this is like, I mean, look at it. The edition, CCX, special edition. Oh, here we go, look at this, look at this. Mega, 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 mega. Let's pop back out behind Sam and Pian in the uh, gold Yesco. I just wanted to change the scenery and look at what we've got. The 101 is basically like a kind of like one, two, one. And I think we can call that Schmoo's car. If you look at the plate, that is Schmoo the cows, Koenigsegg. He's uh, excited about it, very excited about it. On which note, Schmoo the cow will be back in the Schmoo 150 eBay shop in the not too distant future. So watch this space and watch out for something even cooler that's coming in that vein. I've said too much for now. Let's go back to the Koenigseggs. Look at the sunshine on those. I got to drive that car in front of us on the Autobahn and what an experience that was. The turbo whistle from behind it. And I haven't even said about looking in the mirror. I mean, look out that way in the mirror right now. Apologies for how dirty it is, but still. Two equally familiar cars from the old car spotting days in Monaco with the red car and the orange one that I've actually filmed at the factory before as well. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what else do I say? This feels like a little bit old school right now. Go with the flow, turn up, rock and roll, camera is sharing with you exactly what's happening. It's congested and busy around here, but you know what? Look, look, look at these people, like everybody, just in a war at the cars because One, it's Italy, which is the land of automotive. And two, it's just not a regular thing to see. I'm gonna pull in here again because I think it's time for another change of scenery. Red car going past, orange car going past, Agira going past, Rigera going past. Check this out, Green Goblin, another one. I'm gonna pull out now, let's go. This is so much fun. Just even to see the different cars, to take a pause for a second and let it mix up and change around. Ridiculous. I don't think anybody really has a clue where to go, but the end result is amazing. Eggs everywhere. <laughs> with the cars like this, the convoy getting a bit more of a move on, enjoying what it's all about. <laughs> you can tell the exhaust on the SLS is warming up. It's the snake of Koenigseggs. Absolute perfection. This is insane to be honest. We'll talk about picturesque. Look at this, the cobbled streets here at the south end of Legada, going through the <laughs> crowds of people, the number of camera phones. While we're in a bit of traffic, there's an F12. And the funny thing is, every car is so dirty from the rain of the last couple of days. The Koenigseggs have all been cleaned, but mine is absolutely filthy. Uh, this is the last little traffic jam to get to our lunch stop which is in this very scenic and picturesque. I'm not sure how much you can see around the corner here. Little spot. I guess we're rolling on the last cars coming through. In fact, I'm gonna walk in and walk around for the moment. Look at this, everything parking. Look and listen. What a sight. What an amazing, amazing gathering. The line in here is gonna be truly breathtaking. I've said that a lot, I'm sorry, but I think it summarizes today as all the cars squeeze and get round behind here in just a moment. Sequential. Doesn't make it easy, but ridiculously cool experience when it's up and running. And then, yeah, check this out. Look at this. Look at all of 
this. The cars in the line here as we walk on down. It's literally everything. I mean, throw it back, CC8S. Of course, where Koenigsegg began, there are very few of these. Obviously, exact numbers of each car you will find on ECR. If you want to know exactly how many exist out there in all the different specs. But CC8S is the car for which the new one, CC850, is obviously the tribute. Also happens to sound pretty cool. Very different engines back in those days to what you know of now from the likes of the Yesco. Yesco attack, followed by CC850. It's actually quite fun when you just looked at the original to know that, you know, 20, 25 years later, they've effectively made this still very much in keeping with the original design, especially when you look at the lights and the styling, even the wheels that it wears as well. But using the technology, the engine, gearbox, etc., from the newer cars as well. I've got to say, I think this is my favorite Koenigsegg right now. Yesco Attack, I like the boomerang wing. I prefer it to the absolute. And then this deep purple paint color blue metallic purple shades and look they've even actually made a custom carbon fiber number plate clip here mounting in to hold that it has to be vertical and straight to the front in most countries so that's actually pretty cool they've done those extra details and that's before all of the gold leaf detail over the top and it's very easy to do too much of that it's very easy when you add something like gold on a car along these lines to go overkill and do too much but the way this has been done is like just perfect it's just enough to look amazing without being too much to overdo it, go over the top. What a thing. It's interesting to see the way the mirrors fold in as well. I mean, what a lineup of things, I want to say. Yes, go, yes, go, one to one, yes, go. One of one, Agira. Where do you, where do you look here? Every time you look away for a second, another car rolls in. The orange against the purple on this Agira. It's so fun to be here, to be around all of this. I had just realized that some of the cars had come over to this side. That's quite a, a narrow gap for a Yesco attack. And then we've got the Regera here as well, over on this side where my car is tucked in over in the far corner behind the Yesco Absolute in the red carbon. I guess cars being moved to the other side. The first cars are already off. Many more are coming, including gold Yesco, of course. Traffic is busy, but look at that thing. 765 Spider, an army of Kernig's eggs. Awesome. Mr. Sutil driving the one to one. Adrian Sutil, former Formula One driver. This is just crazy to see the cars coming out like this. One after another after another. <laughs> We've got Christian and Haldora come out the other end. That's cool. Up they go. This is pretty exciting, I would say. Mr. Von Koenigsegg, you've done something very, very special here. Really cool. Camera crew in operation. Look at that view. Look at that view. <laughs> Chase them on the scooter, it's a pretty good way to do it. That works, I would say. Just one after another. On a day like today, I would be driving like this, roof on. It is way too hot right now. <laughs> but hey, I guess that's part of the fun. I can also spot there's a Yesco coming in the traffic to start that way, which is uh, extra fun. That red carbon. It's really, really dark tinted, but it is full exposed carbon. And this light looks unreal, absolutely unreal. So the police have, of course, taken over and directing who goes where, what cars go first, etc., etc. Just nice random Turbo S cab, casually chilling. I think it's time for the, uh, the eggs. Nope, it's not time for the eggs. The policeman says no, <laughs> you gotta do what the police say. And if they say you're not going anywhere, you're not going anywhere. Now it's time. <laughs> Police officer is like, come on. What's the Regera doing? There we go. Straight black, hardest color to keep clean of any car ever. Love it. Regera, ah. Oh. <laughs> See you later, Tommy. Got all sorts of randomness. Oh, he's stopped it all again. 
Oh, we're gonna have to wait and split everyone up. It's go time. CC850 first. And not getting that far. <laughs> Followed by the CCX. Blue interior, silver exterior is very nice. That's actually from the US, that's cool. CCXR that we followed for a bit that I have filmed with before. And we're back to the other traffic again. I, I think this didn't entirely go how everybody intended it to earlier. And some more. Sad to be waving farewell to these now, but that's been the most epic of epic mornings. Just a pair out. I think we've got a pair more stuck in now. It's actually really funny to, to watch this and to watch how uh, <laughs> our friend here is kind of stepped in, but I think slowed everything down in the process. We're back again, KNC. Look at the roof, look at the roof of that. The ghost on the roof. And I think that's the end. I think that's it. Farewell to the eggs. Is that, is that done? Nothing else? I guess so. It's hot. I'm exhausted. This has been an unbelievable little outing to join in with the Ghost Squadron, to find the Koenigseggs, to come along with the SLS Black Series. It's such an epic community. It's one of the things I've always said about Koenigsegg and what they do is that all of the customers I ever meet, all the people from the factory I ever meet, the team up to Christian himself are all so welcoming, so friendly, and so enthusiastic about the cars. It's such a cool thing to be around, thing to be a part of. So a big thank you to everybody who made it possible that we could hop in with all the activities today to just be there, to be part of it, and to be able to share with you the Ghost Squadron on the road. The first time 30 cars have ever been together was today. Never that many Koenigseggs out together before, and it's been an amazing day. But for now, we've got to hop with this down to Brescia for Millimilia. Some more fun ahead for us. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out Exclusive Car Registry ECR for more info about, well, cars like this, but all the Koenigseggs as well. And stay tuned for some more Schmoother Cows down the line. That's it for now, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.